Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the UFC and MMA subreddit because there has been a lot going on in the UFC community. So I thought, hey, let's look at some memes. Let's find some funny stuff to talk about. I can't wait. Let's get into it, guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you were new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's get started. Yeah, and this is kind of the thing I uh, expected to see first of all. So we have the nutritionist, nutritionist, or ex-husband of Ian Gary living in the house with them. And this is just not what you want to see from Ian Gary. We made a whole video talking about the situation. It's just, oh boy, it's not good for him, man. I don't know if this is going to be all we got, though. <laughs> <laughs> this might just turn into an Ian Gary video. He has a point. You put a man's mugshot in a shirt to shame him, and then you say you're going to sue me. Learn how to be a man. Were you born without a ball sack, or did your wife remove them? Coward. Utter coward. To be honest, he has a really good point. That is a good point. Like, if you're going to play dirty like that, you got to be able to take it dirty. If Colby said to Dustin, your wife's a hoe, and she's got fake tits on her chest, you know Col- Oh, my God. I didn't think of that. Oh. <gasps> That's gonna be the best press conference ever. I never thought of that. You know Colby is not holding back on Ian Gary, Gary during the press conference. Dude! They're in the same weight class too. Oh my god. That did not cross my mind and I cannot wait to see it. Oh no. Guys, I, like, like, I... <laughs> I thought I would saw some Ian Gary stuff. I really did, but... <laughs> I didn't think this would be the entire thing taking up the hot section on Reddit, boy. Ian, Gary, and Adam22, and there's only one chair in the corner of the bedroom. Oh, man. <laughs> and the same meme that Ian, Gary, has been getting hit with the past few days. Y'all wife is your husband. What's the better beef right now? So I'm going to guess it's just Helen and the Nina drama, of course. Right? What is that photo? Anyways, and then we have, yeah, Ian, Gary, and then, oh, no. <laughs> I actually thought it would be Strickland. The dude's 3-0. I have to respect it, of course. MMA Guru has been spearheading the hate for a lot of fighters. And, and you know what? I'm not going to lie. Understandably so. He took out Ariel Hawani with Strickland. He took out Adesanya with Strickland. Now he's taking out Ian Gary with Strickland. Who will be next? I actually don't know. If I had to guess who's going to be next. Honestly, there's some stuff going on with Johnny Walker that I don't know if it's true or not. So... Maybe he's next. Ian Gary during the 296 press conference when a reporter asks him a question and sees everyone grab the mic. Dude, like, I, I honestly didn't even think about that. I really, really didn't. That's going to be hilarious. Like, oh, my God. He's he's not going to win an argument. He's not going to win any argument. He's just going to get hit with the, your wife is your husband. Like, he come up. He's not even going to get trashed. Oh, my God. Colby's going to eat him alive, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Like, I keep not thinking of things. Colby Covington has brought a, a book to a press conference before. He's going to get... Oh, he has to. He has to. <laughs> oh. He has, he's got to do it, man. Oh, I'm so... I haven't been this excited for a press conference in a long time. There we go. One that's not... <laughs> doesn't have to do with Ian Gary. I, I love the Ian Gary memes. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, man. It, Mario Yamasaki. It's so true. Anybody who's watching PFL, all of a sudden, he showed up, and your ref is Mario Yamasaki. And he did this, and I'm like, I looked at my dad, and I was like, Mario Yamasaki's here. <laughs> so my dad's like, hey. And it's just so funny. Like, I, I can't believe we saw him again. It was actually, I understand why he was booted from the UFC, but, like, it's still nice to see him, to be honest. It's, an, it's like a nostalgia trip. Oh, boy, you know it's bad when Ian Gary gets cooked by randoms on Strickland's Instagram. Ian Gary, don't believe everything you read, you, you know. <laughs> Give Ian his phone back. Nah, bro, we gotta save you. This ain't right. Your wife's away, dude. Dude, like, he's gotta ignore it. Like, if you're Ian Gary, Ian Gary, like, I, I'm a, such a small channel, Ian Gary's not gonna come across this video unless he pulls a Chris Curtis and, like, starts searching himself, because Chris, I, I, I made a video talking about Chris Curtis, and he actually came across it, but he, oh, he, he needs to ignore it. If he really, really wants to, he needs to either ignore it. I, that won't even work, dude. He needs to just get rid of her at this point. He needs to wake up and realize what's happening to him and get rid of her. This can't be real. There's no way this is real. I, can anyone help me out? Like, th this can't be real. This real- I, I don't even know. Can we all agree Fight Night cards should look like this more often? I can tell you. I completely agree. 100,000% Fight Night cards should look like this more often. Because this is honestly- This is a pay-per-view worthy card. But to be honest with you, to get a card like this, you would really have to sacrifice having 
events like every single week, which I'm all for having events every single week. That's kind of like a give and take that you should have. But I'm, I think every once in a while, we should have some solid fight nights like this. Maybe like once a month, maybe like bi-monthly. Apologies if you can hear my phone ringing anyways. This is the UFC 300 according to Paulo Costa. Post your parlay down below. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'll do my fight picks here. So I got to go with Zuckerberg because Zuckerberg, of course, has a huge age and training advantage. I'm going to go with Chandler over McGregor because of the training aspect. Costa versus Chimaev would be very interesting. After, To be honest with you, after seeing Chimaev's last performance, I might pick Paulo Costa. I really, really might. Of course, to be Habib over Tony, and then I would choose John Jones over Ngannou. Jake Paul would beat Nate Diaz, Masvidal would beat Sonnen, Fedor would beat Lesnar, Cejudo for Smith as Bula, of course Cejudo to win, Helen would destroy Nina, and Jake Shields would destroy Jackson, and I apologies if I'm stupid, I don't know who those last two are. Don't come at me. Don't come at my throat that way, please. Uh, I just don't know. I lied. We're going to have one more for today. Why not? More winnable fight than Chandler, and they have unfinished business. Guys, I have been saying this since Conor McGregor announced his return. I have been saying the right fight for him is Rafael de Sanjos. It is a more winnable fight than Chandler. Both of them are kind of at the end of their careers. Rafael de Sanjos wants a fight. He only wants big fight at this point. He's a BMF. Rafael de Sanjos is a legend. Absolutely deserves this money fight against Conor McGregor. And the press conference would be amazing. It would have all the hype in the world. There's story to it. This is a better fight than Chandler. And I, I would imagine McGregor would be down for it, to be honest with you. This is absolutely a winnable fight for him. This, I, don't, I don't see why Connor would want to take this fight. Besides, maybe, just maybe, him seeing himself knocking out Chandler. Because I can see it too, man. If Connor was in his prime... He would clip Chandler easily, but I don't think it's going to happen, man. I think he should take the off Los Angeles fight. I think he deserves a bigger money fight. I think this is what the UFC honestly should be doing. But with that being said, though, guys, that is all that we have for you today on the Ian Gary meme page. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. On the screen right now, you have two videos that will be on the screen for you right now. I will see you either there or in the next video, everybody. Hit like and subscribe. Don't forget. Take care, everybody.